Welcome to our lecture online. Our next example looks like again will require some factoring before we can find the lowest common denominator. A little bit different in this case because notice here the common factor in this denominator is simply x so we're going to factor out the x and see what that looks like. 25 divided by x plus 21 divided by x minus 5 is equal to 1 over x times x minus 5. And then you look at these denominators and notice that this is the product of these two, so that becomes the lowest common denominator, x times x minus 5. Which means we're going to multiply both sides of the equation by that lowest common denominator. We get x times x minus 5 and x times x minus 5. On the left side, we're going to multiply both of these terms by this common denominator. Here you can see that the x's cancel out and you're left with 25 times x minus 5 plus here the x minus 5 will cancel out and you're left with 21 times x. On the right side x times x minus 5 cancel out with x times x minus 5 and you're simply left with 1. Now let's multiply on the left side so we get rid of the parentheses 25x minus 125 plus 21x equals 1 move the minus 125 over we get 25x plus 21x is equal to 1 plus 125 combining like terms we get 25 plus 26 is 46x is equal to 126 and now let's continue over here so let's rewrite 46x equals 126 and now we're going to divide both sides of the equation by the numerical coefficient. So we get x is equal to 126 divided by 46. Well, first of all, they both end up in a 6, so that means they are even. That means they can be divided by 2. And so that means 126 divided by 2 would be 63. 46 divided by 2 would be 23. Now let's see, 23 looks like a prime number. And that's as far as you can go then. So x equals 63 over 23 as our final solution. And that is how it's done.